Today on the show, we're taking a look at Superman the Man of Steel number 21 from March of 1993. Funeral for a Friend number 7, so stay tuned. Hey guys, welcome back to Comageddon TV where all geek culture collides. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on future videos. Alright guys, welcome back. As I said today, we're taking a look at Superman the Man of Steel number 21 from March of 1993. This is Funeral for a Friend number 7. And as you can see, this is the uh, where Jonathan Kent, Paul Kent, has a heart attack. Uh, by Louise Simonson, John Bug Bogdo, John Bogdanov, and Dennis Jonke. However you pronounce it, I don't know. But we open. Lois is dreaming. Uh, that's the best way to put it. Uh, she's having a dream, a nightmare really, where Superman's drowning. She could help him, but she's just reporting on the event, and then finally she comes to her senses and tries to reach for him, but he's already gone. Uh, this is pretty much what happened uh, during the death of Superman's storyline. Um, she feels really guilty about it. You know, she, she wishes she could have helped him. She wishes she could have saved him. She wishes she could have spent more time with him. Uh, but ultimately, she is forced to just report on everything that happened. All the while, there's a flood in Underworld. Uh, now, Underworld is <clears throat> made up, filled with these creatures created by Cadmus, I believe. Uh, they're mutations. Uh, they don't belong in the up uh, in the upper world, so they've taken refuge in the underworld, under the streets of Metropolis. And somebody blew a hole that caused Underworld to start flooding. Uh, here we have Jonathan and Martha Kent uh, just came back from Metropolis from visiting with Lois uh, and Jonathan is just he's grieving in his own way uh, he's having flashbacks from different point, points in Clark's life uh, like Clark raising his uh, pet cow uh, which is now an adult here uh, just kind of talking to himself, reliving moments of the past. All the while, Cadmus has stolen Superman's body. Originally, Guardian didn't want to go, didn't want this to happen. But he figures, since it's already done and over with, he's going to at least make sure they treat his body with some respect. And this is the best way to bring Superman back. Uh, Cadmus is going to attempt to clone him. Then we have, once again, Jonathan, Martha Kent. Jonathan is reliving, you know, Clark's early days, you know, just kind of daydreaming, mourning in his own way. Uh, we return to Underworld. Then we return to the uh, Superman statue with Lois Lane. Uh, protesters. And this is a really nice moment here. Uh, it really kind of got me in the feels, you know. Uh, we joined Batman and Alfred in the Batcave. And Batman is going over looking at the kryptonite ring that Superman gave to him. Lex Luthor's kryptonite ring. Alfred pretty much says, you know, why don't you go ahead and get rid of that? It, it's just a painful reminder. You don't need it anymore. There aren't any more Kryptonians. Uh, and Batman just, he says, maybe I should discard, discard it or destroy it. But it's a symbol of his trust in me. And I just can't. Which just shows that even Batman has gotten emotional over Superman's death. And then we return to the Superman statue with Lois and the police. Uh, and Underworld. And... 
Jonathan and Martha Kent. Uh, Jonathan is once again uh, trying, um, reliving moments of Clark's past. This was shortly after Superman saved the uh, rocket carrying Lois in uh, Man of Steel. I forget which issue. I think it was Man of Steel number one, uh, which was the post-crisis uh, origin story for Superman. Uh, you know, they just... They wanted to get a piece of him. They didn't care. Uh, they just wanted a piece of him. And that's when Pa Kent came up with the idea for the costume. Uh, once again, joining Underworld. Um, let's see here. Uh, trying to break in to Cadmus to find out what's going on. Uh, got Lois here in the uh, wetsuit. Uh, got Guardian. And of course Lois and the newsboys find Superman's body. And... They get scared off. And then... When Ma and Pa Kent discover that Superman's body is missing, uh, they, they're back at the crater where Clark first came to Earth, where they first found Clark. And Pa Kent just collapses. He's had a heart attack. And that's where it ends. Which leads directly... It leads directly into this. Yes, that's right. Sealed, unopened. The Adventures of Superman, number 500. Uh, that's going to stay sealed. Uh, I know it's not really worth much anymore, but you know it's a collector's item. You know. Uh, however, I do have this copy here that we'll be going over next time. So... With that being said, this was Superman the Man of Steel number 21 from March 1993, Funeral for a Friend number 7. If you guys enjoyed this video and want more videos from Comageddon TV, the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides, hit that subscribe button, make sure and hit that little bell so you re receive notifications on all things geek culture. I'm Shannon for Come Again TV. Take care, my friends.